let me quickly share my screen okay is my screen visible hello yeah 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 it's visible okay okay good evening everyone uh, so today we have seen a lot of uh, nice presentations from the other panelists and they have taken one step ahead in helping us understand that we really need to buck up with the new technology, understand a lot of things and there is a lot of things coming up for the CA fraternity. So although that is a very nice thing, but uh, I feel that there are a lot of basic uh, freely available AI aspects from the Microsoft itself, which we need to explore and understand and which will um, take up some smaller task on our day-to-day -day basis and make our life much simpler. So today I am going to talk about one such app called Power Apps. So many of them may not even be aware of this. I myself came to came to know about this very recently that there is something called Power Apps by Microsoft, which comes as a package of the whole Microsoft 3, 360 package. So as the name suggests, it is Power Apps, meaning you can actually create apps using this particular uh, platform. So in relation to today's topics, I'm going to talk about how AI can be used in Power Apps. And when it comes to transforming, I am going to take a use case of data maintenance, how we can transform the data maintenance using the AI features in Power Apps. That is, it, it is integrated with chat GPT and the other normal AI aspects. Uh, so I will be using that to create an application which will help us in transforming our day-to-day -day data maintenance activity. So as a first thing, now if I want to ask Google what is Power Apps. So it's going to give me a lot of things like this. So it says a lot of technical things says there is no code development, data integration, customization, but to put it in a simpler format, I'll take just one example and tell you that Power App is nothing but it transforms data in such a format or rather inputting data in such a format in Excel can be converted to putting inputting data in this format like an app. So on one side, I'm showing how an app, the app that I will create now will look like on a phone. And how, on the other side, I'm showing how it will look on the desktop. So basically, I'm creating an app. So today, I'm just considering this example, wherein you are using the timesheet, wherein you need to fill timesheet on a daily basis in a CA firm or even in any other small organizations, which is done in Excel, can be done in, in the form of an app. So why I'm taking this particular example today is because uh, we do know that timesheet or any other things is a very essential thing. And many of the small organizations still continue to do it in Excel. There is no harm in doing it in Excel, but we do know what are the disadvantages of maintaining it manually. And we also know that as the organization grows, they switch to many paid apps available or paid, uh, you know, online portals av available for tracking this uh, timesheet. And you may also know like, for example, if I am going and approaching a company for employment, if there are two companies, which is uh, one is going still in the manual route and one is technologically advanced using some apps, I will definitely go for that company because my assumption or the pr perspective of that company would be that they are much advanced. They are doing very good that they're able to afford paying for many apps or they are technologically much advanced. They're progressing towards uh, betterment and that is why they're going, uh, they're using the newer technologies. So the whole perspective about our business changes the moment we opt for technologically advanced things like an application for our day-to-day -day activities. So in such, uh, but uh, affording a, such an app or a you know portal is not possible for everybody. It is it involves some cost. So that is why today I am taking up this example of Power App where we can do it free of cost or rather I can say it just comes along with the Microsoft package. We can we can use that and we we will be able to create some very simple apps. And the moment I say creation of app, we may think that, you know, I am not an engineer who will understand any programming language. And that is where the AI technology comes into picture. So let me take you to the portal. So this is the portal. You can see powerapps.com. So over here, this is the home page. So you can see right over here, you have the AI capability built in over here. 
like any other um, excel or everything we have the ai capability over here as well so i have done nothing i've just logged in with my microsoft account this is part of the microsoft account so today like i said let us see how do we create a timesheet application so i have just inputted this basic things in excel for to avoid uh, lack of time in typing so what i'm asking i just need a timesheet app and i'm just clicking enter and let's see what it processes So you can see Copilot has worked on this and it has given me this format. It says the app that I'm going to create now will have all these fields in it. Now I want to make some changes. This is just the basic uh, structure given by Copilot. So I want to make some changes. So I'm asking it to add many things. Let's say the first thing I'm saying, add an employee name column. I'm saying then, you know, rename the project column, which you have mentioned as client name. So I'm just copy pasting these commands over here. You can see it's a, it says the timesheet table has been updated. So when I scroll and see, I can see there has been updates made in this particular table. So I just have done nothing, just told the basic comments to Copilot and it has made the changes in my table. And this is the format. If you want to add more columns, you can add. If you want to do some other customizations, we can simply type it here. It is also giving you some suggestions over here as to what kind of changes or what kind of additions you can do. You can say add a column, add a row, change the data type, anything. You can just type it here and it will give you. So once you're happy with this format, you can just click on create app. So you can see basically I am creating an app now in less than two minutes. All I'm doing is creating an application which can be used internally. So uh, this is the very basic thing about Power App. Uh, as many may know, Power App is a vast application. You can integrate it with Power Query, Power Automate, Excel, Outlook. There are a lot of integrations that is possible. And you can, if you know some basic um, uh, um, you know, coding, there is a lot of marvelous things that you can do. But for people who are completely unaware about all those things and still want to use Power App, this is a very simple way of using Copilot and making use of Power App. So while this loads, I can probably take you through what other applications can be done using Power App on our day-to-day -day, uh, activities. Uh, let me go to the last slide. So I've just listed some of the use cases for small businesses or CA in practice, where this Power App can simply make some applications using the Copilot commands, like the natural language uh, command, and we can come up with a lot of apps. So some of them that I've done, which I think is, which I have just collated based on practically what I see in a CA in practice or a small organization. Uh, one is Petty Cash. It's very common that, you know, we give Petty Cash and it is maintained and sometimes we just post it in bulk. But now if I simply make a small application, we can ask the accountant to enter Attention every last rupee. Two minutes left. Sure. So every rupee that they're spending, you enter and you have a track of it. It need not go completely to your tally or other <clears throat> accounting database, but you have a backup or a tracking for this. Other one is travel request because travel reimbursement or uh, reimbursement that we are uh, claiming back from the client is one more major thing, which which is not completely tracked well. We just do it. We don't really have a cost, cost and a profit analysis out of it. All these things can be tracked. Let me go back to the screen. So you can see this is come and I have already uh, created this app and few other apps also. So let me just run this timesheet. It Whatever I've done is uh, is in the final format. What I, what I have done is I've just entered more data over here for better presentation. So the timesheet that I've created is done and it finally comes in this format. I've just added some colors and formatting for our easy reference, which is easily available on the top. You can see here I have all these features where I can insert and here I can have some features for changing theme, background and all that. So I do all those things and I just click on save. And then when I come to the home page again, so here is the home page. When I come to this fourth option called apps, this app will be visible. So I can just click on this play button and this app will come up.
so this will have a share option you can share this with uh, relevant persons in your team or you can share it with external uh, stakeholders and they will be able to enter data so now i have this app i have already entered some data for easy reference so this is a timesheet i have uh, the client id i have the client name employee name manager name and i'm seeing what is the task taken what is the hours everything is captured here i can click on new over here and I will be able to enter the similar data over here. So this particular link can be shared with all of them in the company. An access can be given like any other timesheet act, apps act. And uh, this is a very efficient way in which the small chartered accountants or organizations can make use of technology for data maintenance. Thank you. Very, very nice presentation. I appreciate the way you are just uh, encourage members to think about power uh, app developing uh, interest they can now start even building apps for their basic uh, uh, utility purpose and other things which they need to do for their day-to-day -day operations okay do you think that this is a scalable model also after we develop this app we can uh, scale it at a bigger scale yes yes it can be used for throughout the organization but of course there is a little cost involved i think beyond a certain number of users you may have to uh, you know pay pay a little to uh, Microsoft. Uh, but this is something all the big companies, including my company, use. We don't use it for simple things like timesheet, but we use it on a larger scale, uh, like uh, something like, you know, customer collection tracking. So we link it directly to the ERP system itself and do like a, you know, back and forth thing. So uh, we will be able to link the receivables and the payments. Uh, app which you have created can again be integrated with other ERP softwares and there in Yes, yes. But like I said, it may involve a little more knowledge about uh, basic codings and all that. So I just wanted to keep this simple, uh, you know, like standalone thing which we can use it. Though if we are able to learn more of Power Apps, there is a million possibilities. Integration can happen throughout the Microsoft Automate. So once Automate Power Automate comes into picture, you can link it to multiple apps. Power Automate will push the data from one place to other. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Great for sharing with us. Yeah, now, now we are audible? Yes. Are you? Yeah. Manu, sir? Platform that uh, you are letting the chartered accountants equipped enough and power enough to use or develop certain sort of applications and all. But the only concern with these platforms or maybe any other platform is the data privacy. Because when you are using some sort of open application which are giving open AI, for sure, uh, uh, data privacy and that to the data with chartered accountant actually deals in can be a challenge for them. So uh, how you are going to handle that? No, this, see, this I agree with your point, but this is part of Microsoft. So if we call this data privacy an issue or Excel, Word, PowerPoint, everything comes under the same purview. This is nothing separate. I am not taking it as a separate uh, software or anything. The 360 subscription that I take, this is just one of the things available on the Microsoft store. So this is directly linked to my Outlook. Outlook comes from Microsoft, Excel, PPT, everything comes under the same thing. So as secure as my other data is, this is equally secure. Okay, fine. So you are relying okay. on the parent body. Thank you.